you, of course, we remember the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice for America, and those are our veterans. Yeah, but an astounding 82,000 service people since World War II are MIAs, missing in action, and no one knows where their bodies may be. So there's a new documentary about a group trying to find our MIAs, a small team dedicated to searching the oceans and remote areas. They're called Project Recover, and the documentary is called to what remains. It goes into theaters on December 10th, but here's a, cl here's a closer look. Uh, we don't have the clip for you, but this is some of the video that we're showing you right yeah, here. Yeah, it is an amazing story. And joining us now is co-founder of the Project Recover, Dr. Pat Scannon. Good morning, Dr. Scannon. How you doing? I'm great, thank you. So how long have you actually been doing this and how successful have you been? And what is it you're actually doing? Well, our mission is to recover Americans missing uh, in action from around the world. You mentioned 82,000, uh, and uh, we are doing what we can to return as many Americans home as we can. Uh, we started off in a small uh, country in the Pacific called Palau, but we've now expanded over the last few years to 21 different countries where we've conducted searches and recoveries. What's your personal connection? What motivated you to get started with this project? I'm an American. Mm -hmm. I, uh, my father did serve in World War II, but he came home. Uh, and uh, I was uh, actually on a, on a dive trip uh, in uh, Palau 28 years ago and came across a wing, uh, 20, a 65 foot wing of an aircraft, which I recognized as a wing of a B-24 wow. and wondered what happened to the rest of the plane. And that led me to the, the realization that there were many, many Americans still missing in action. Oh, and right. I decided it was an important thing to try to help solve that problem oh, yeah. and bring bring these Americans home. So important, right? And it must be throughout this process that you go through it, emotional, number one, mm -hmm. but also very yeah. gratifying to, to really provide some closure for some family, but at the same time, mm -hmm. a little sad, right? For those, for, for, for those who are never able to really receive a proper burial. Well, you know, it's an interesting thing. It is very exciting when that moment comes where you go around a coral head and underwater uh, or, or uh, part of bush in a jungle and you see the aircraft debris. But the real joy comes from uh, when you can finally um, see the families take the, um, receive the remains mm -hmm. and, and have a proper burial. Uh, we've never found an MIA family who did not miss their loved one. They've yeah. always wondered what happened, and, yeah. and this does bring at least some sense of closure. You know, an interesting thing is that at the uh, ceremonies that we've attended, it is there is a certain kind of sadness, but there's a lot of I don't know, I guess you would call it joy Yeah. Um, because they finally know what's happened. Yeah, I mean, it is such meaningful work. So how did you put together this team to go into this research? Well, I, <laughs> I originally started by myself and mm -hmm. after you get stuck in a jungle occasionally, um, I realized that's probably not a smart idea. <laughs> yeah. And, um, so I started building a team, smally, uh, a small team, uh, over a period of about a decade. And then in, um, in 2012, we joined forces with teams from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography and the University of Delaware. And they have these incredible uh, autonomous underwater vehicles and other kind of robotics that greatly expanded our ability to search underwater. And so we really have three parallel teams that support each other in our search missions. It's yeah. really quite remarkable because it really starts with a fundamental principle that we all feel it's important to return these Americans home. And we use, you know, our, our, you know, our bodies, our technologies, whatever it takes to, to find these Americans. I mean, just, just looking at some of the video, it's just unbelievable mm -hmm. to see some of that video and the incredible amount of effort and delicate work that goes into it. Dr. Pat Scannon of Project Recover, we thank you so much for being here to explain this important, important work that you're doing and all the best efforts for you.
Thank you very much. And the documentary. And happy Veterans Day. I was right back at you. The documentary is called To What Remains. It's in theaters December 10th. Thanks again.